Hey Virgo, welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. Thank you for your support in whichever way that you do that. If you're new here, thanks for watching. We're going to check the energy for Virgo. Any placement, multiple scenarios will come out. Be mindful. Flip and switch the masculine energies. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Bottom of the deck, partial. More to the story. Somebody not telling you everything that they need to tell you or they're only telling you bits and pieces, breadcrumbing a situation to keep you satisfied, content, or sustain a situation. For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? What's the tea? Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, failure to launch, couldn't get things going. So what I get is uh, you and this person could have definitely met. Things could have taken off quickly, but it could have ended abruptly for some of you. Um, could also be a situation where on again, off again, or y'all were in the middle of getting to know each other and it really never really went anywhere. Kind of stagnant energy. So could be limbo, could be sex. Let's see. For Virgo. In reverse, scent, the smell of someone else on them. Now, they were definitely cheating. So, somebody got cut off or somebody got found out or somebody's trying to hide the fact that they're cheating. They're dealing with somebody else. Let's continue. What else for Virgo? Any placement? Excuse me. Ancestors. Thank you. Flaker, inconsistent. All right. That's why y'all couldn't get shit going. For Virgo? Yeah. If it ain't adding, it's subtracting type energy. They were definitely subtracting. They're amazed by your good looks, though. Oh, this is you. Layers, multiple factors. One of the factors is that they married with that wedding cake. I did see partial more to the story. That's why they're flaking. They're dealing with somebody else. If they're not married, it's definitely something stable. Or it was until you came into the picture. Or they came into the picture in your relationship. Somebody cheating. All right. Let's see. For Virgo, any placement. Purse clings to you but doesn't want to open up. They don't want to let you go, but they don't want to choose you either. What else? Unreasonable. Only seeing things one way. In reverse. So, if they was living their best life, fucking clucking, bucking, sucking, I feel like they want to change. I don't want to be a player no more. All right, for some of y'all, they want to change. Some of y'all. All right, they still inconsistent, though, and still ain't opening up. That's definitely in the upright. What else? Okay, they emotionally unavailable. Hmm. We got must be nice. He said, I just want to inform you when you got somebody good, you hold on to them. Clings on to you, but doesn't want to open up. Interesting. Right on cue. Live Janice. All right. So they know you're a catch, but they're dealing with somebody else, but they don't want nobody else to have you. That's crazy. What else? Future. Because they see this relationship for the long term. The great pretender acts uninterested, but stalks you. Or this is you. They don't want to let you go. They haven't let you go energetically. You may feel like this person. You may think that this person is not in your everyday life. But check your energy. They in your energy. It's here. They ain't let you go. Or you ain't let them go. Y'all ain't let each other go. It's toxic though. My toxic is just simply unhealthy. Nothing to do with waste or boiling acid. Just not healthy. Because they inconsistent and they cheating. Or they were cheating. And they were being unreasonable, but it looks like they want to change. But they still not doing nothing. You got more questions than answers. They study, stalking, watching, observing. Destruction. Friends or family trying to keep you two apart. For some of you, it's spell work, though. They get a pass on that. For some of you, somebody creating chaos in their life. Remorse, regretting something. For some of you, they just fucked up. They don't know how to apologize. They don't know how to fix it. Interesting. All right, well... Definitely can't be one-sided. Can't apologize to a brick wall. The fuck? I ain't got... I do got Virgo in my chart, but it's in a planet. Hmm. Jupiter, to be exact. For Virgo spirit, what's going on here? Official person, don't tell me this y'all twin flame acting up. Somebody in an authority figure, line of work, military. Let's see. What else? Virgo. 
journey. So this is a major lesson to learn here. Some of you could be on a twin flame journey with that official person and journey. Whatever it is, is coming to a close. Ten, journey. A cycle is closing out. A lesson. This person, they could see a future with you. Hold on, y'all. Let me see some. This card illustrates travel. Wealthy man on the platform standing with his fine leather luggage, not too far from denizens of second class. Stands for all forms of transit, vehicles, as well as vacation, travel, ex escapes, and round trip. Time to start to take a step forward. Leave your old and familiar situation. Depart for new shores. This might concern your work, your family situation, or your relationship. Maybe it is also time for a trip. This card represents all kinds of vehicles. Transportation vehicles with the death card and ones of loss, death, or accident while traveling. This isn't an unavoidable. This is an unavoidable fate. The warning in this card could help you avert this arrival as a departure. Travel, perhaps there's someone to see off or arrive from his or her journey. All right. That being said, like I said, you and this person could be on a twin flame journey together, but this card is speaking about trips, travel, somebody coming to see you, somebody putting the effort, I feel, to get things going. It could also be a situation where um, relationships, learning, doing, exploring, going, moving, shifting energetically, things are changing. We got I fumbled your heart, Trey Songs. I do feel like this is a strong soulmate connection for a lot of you. They haven't let you go. It can be as simple as travel and all of that, like the car said, but um I feel like this is a relationship that was one of the factors. Uh where this person is needing to change. Bad health. All right. So this is stressing somebody out. Somebody could literally be sick. Someone could be getting I heard bad karma for the way that they treated you. They could be dealing with somebody who's sick. Let's say they married to somebody who's sick, so they stepped out and they cheated because they were unhappy at home. Bad karma. But um, you can't just be doing all of that. That's very specific, too, for somebody. Yeah, that person was sick, so they cheated. That's crazy. But um, mm, 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 mm. with this bad health, I don't know what the fuck this is. I feel like uh, someone could be as simple as stressed out, though, and it's creating a lot of mind fog. Someone could be uh, on their deathbed with journey and bad health. Their life is coming to a close. My condolences is that if this is you or somebody you're dealing with. So this could affect somebody's decision-making skills. Rather they want to change for the better or they spazzed out. What else? Somebody could have lost somebody already and that's why they do the things that they do. They could be damaged or unhealed. What else? I feel like this person's not thinking clearly about what they want. False person adjudication in reverse. All right. So someone was getting a divorce from a karmic partner, a karmic mate. They could have delayed it, stopped it. And this false person is wearing a mask. They're not appearing as a false person, but they are. So someone's hiding behind sheep's clothing and stressing somebody out, trying to prolong a situation, a relationship or whatever. They could be getting ready to move with this person. Move far for some of you with this person. All right. Um, privileged lady. So this could be the Empress energy for some of you. Taurus and Libra energy or anybody. But I feel like there could be a choice between a karmic and a divine counterpart. A wife and a mistress or a toxic karmic energy popping back up. Men, this could be you too when uh somebody divine is in the energy or your energy or in the air or whatever. Judication in reverse, something is unfair. Okay, somebody stopped or de de derailed or delayed a breakup or a divorce. Yep. Mm. They're probably taking care of somebody. Yeah, they're concerned. I'll be concerned too about their fortune in the future, great fortune, or sharing it with you. What else for Virgo? The fuck? Message. Somebody got a letter in the mail about court. Wasn't going right. Some of you could have found a letter. 
because they do look like they're going through draws about something in this court system, this false price and bad health or something in the future. Something coming up. All right. I feel like they haven't let you go because they were waiting on the situation to play out, but it's delayed or something with adjudication in reverse. They need to get this divorce flat out. If it's not a divorce, they need to make something fair, right, and just. All right. Could be definitely legal matters here. Could be spiritual too. Maybe somebody trying to change if they've been inconsistent behaving like a false person. Sent in reverse. They're done playing around indulging in karmic activities. What else, spirit? Wealthy man. Well, I did see the previous lady, so that definitely is emperor, em emperor and empress energy. This person could be, have, they could have a lot of money. I did say somebody could be concerned about their fortune. They could be taking care of somebody, providing for them, or this is you. Bad health could definitely be providing for somebody they could live with somebody who needs them they could be codependent if it's not bad health like a broken limb or dysfunctional organs it could be dysfunctional mind they codependent they can't get it on their own so they were taking care of somebody a relationship or a marriage or whatever got delayed or they didn't want to lose a lot of money dealing with this person they could be stressed out whatever or they're worried about their wealth their fame their image their good looks looking good to society that's why they never really got nothing off the ground with you all right they was definitely inconsistent though toil and labor yes working on a situation hard work hard earned money somebody's worried about their finances or stability child that could be another factor they got somebody pregnant or they with somebody they have a kid with flip it switch it bop it stop it shit because that's toxic okay <laughs> for virgo what's going on Hey, so one, sex, new passionate beginnings. Hmm. Creative what, though? I hear y'all. Spirit says something about creativity. All right, maybe they're getting creative on how to come towards you, getting creative on how to fix this, getting creative on how to keep you in their life, exploring options on how to fuck around. they stressing, worry, fear, and anxiety. Bad health for Virgo. It could be about to miss an opportunity with you. Terrifying, Taurus energy. They could definitely be married. Or they want to marry you because they fell over future. They see this relationship for the long term. Deep spiritual connection here. Spirituality. Upbringing. Tradition. One's belief system. So, yeah. They could be dealing with somebody where they feel like it's ideal. It's traditional. It's their custom is what I heard. Oof. To sing a situation one way. What else? Because we got unreasonable, only seeing a situation one way in reverse. So maybe they're changing their belief system. So for some of you, this is about status. Wealthy man, horrifying. What else? Two of Pentacles in reverse. They lost a sense of control. Or for some of you, they're releasing control. They're stop. They're going to stop fighting because this person is tangled up with uh, snakes. So in reverse, maybe they're going to give up fighting for something or trying to balance or manage something for some of you they cut you off because they were having a hard time juggling the two of you they were married or whatever let's see or on a connection or a commitment what else? some of you you let it go because you were tired of being juggled ace of swords so there's going to be a breakthrough communication coming in an epiphany and clarity all right and um the divine is stepping in too with the sword of truth. Something is being made fair and right. Definitely major spiritual stuff going on here. So Virgo, we got have I told you I love you. Three of swords. Somebody cheating and somebody got hurt. Oh well, duh. Six of Pentacles. They were. They were tricking off to somebody, or somebody was tricking off to them. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords. They were using them for their money. Gifts, grants, charity. All right. They realized that Ace of Swords. For some of you, this person was breadcrumbing you and another. Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Cheating, third party. Giving to you and giving to somebody else. Or oh, this is you. Somebody got hurt, though. Ten of Swords, Nine of Cups. Could have love bombed you or said just enough to keep you stuck. Somebody got hurt while they playing around. What else? Virgo, the lovers, challenge position, Gemini energy, choice between two, lots of lust, 
Lots of fucking. Heavy on the fucking. Y'all see that car? They love you, Tyrese. Have I told you you still mean the world to me? Yeah. Curiosity. Interested in knowing more about you. Because they making out on this card. Yeah. Ooh. Your girl tapped the fuck in. Look. They making out on this card. Therefore, making out here too. Interested in knowing more about you. They could definitely be wondering what else is there or you are besides sex. We got sociopath underneath that and bad health. Somebody could be mentally unstable. They regret some remorse though. How they treated you. They treated you as a third party or you them. There definitely was choices between two and a lot of fucking. What else, spirit? And they treated you as an option, period. Many choices. Five of cups with the uh, seven of cups. They regret that shit, too. All that confusion none but led not to nothing but disappointments. For them and you, dealing, even dealing with them. Let me clarify. Virgo, any placement. Four of motherfucking pentacles. Listen. Won't let you the fuck go. Purse, four of pentacles, clings to you but doesn't want to open up. All right. They greedy, too. That's crazy. Listen, this is about pleasure. Nine of cups. You this person's wish, but they were too busy pleasuring themselves. Rather with you. Or outside of you. Doing what they felt brought them fulfillment. That was very selfish. Four of Pentacles. There go consistency though with the Page of Pentacles. Maybe they're going to change because they were definitely inconsistent over there. What's this hair fine? Virgo. Any placement? Tower in reverse. Scorpio energy. Somebody won't let go. Judication in reverse. Tower in reverse. Somebody won't let go. Something is trying to be brought down, made right, purified. Nope, they won't let it go. It got something to do with upbringing, tradition, family values. Noble. Yes. They're trying to avoid a disaster. They don't want... They don't want to be looked at as a failure. By letting a relationship in, a marriage for some of you, it's over with. It's not working. That's why they cheating in the first place. This motherfucker. Two of pentacles in reverse. Nine of swords. I'd be stressed out too. They feel guilty. Lots of stress, weary, fear, and anxiety. For some of you, missing an opportunity with you. All right, they feel guilty as fuck. They should. You should. They owe you an apology. Page of Cups and somebody got pregnant too. That's why they ain't let it go. For some of you got a child, so they can't let go. We got K Camp. What's on your mind? We got child and thoughts and marriage. Listen. For some of you, they married. How honor under that? Child. In marriage, they could be married to somebody they got a kid with or trying to make it work. And they thinking about whoever the fuck this is on that picture that they drew, they painted. They feel silly for creating conflict and treating you as competition. For some of you, it's definitely a baby mama. For the men, this is you. Dealing with two energies, two women, ace of swords. the hermit now that's a good card to have an ace of swords about going within figuring it out ace of swords clarity ain't no card like the ace of swords to be clarified with the hermit okay introspection to find clarity they went within they could have ghosted you to do that too and when they ghosted you they ran into whatever and they found some shit out fuck around and find out they did whatever this is for some of you, you gain clarity when this person goes to you. You were able to think more clearly or see the situation for what it is. What's the Six of Pentacles? If they didn't ghost you, they just pull back, which is the same thing to me. 
inconsistent. Flat out. What's the Six of Pentacles? Okay. <laughs> like I said, they were breadcrumbing you in another. Six of Pentacles. Third party. Giving to you and giving to somebody else. Third party. Period. For some of y'all that want to reconcile, equal give and take, reciprocity, give to you. But I feel with this Three of Swords, Three of Cups, this was a third party for a lot of you. Somebody cheating. Or well, they were. Somebody won't let go of a marriage or a commitment. Herifying. Period. What's this Three of Swords? Multiple scenarios, though. So be mindful. Three of Swords. The Death card. Scorpio energy in reverse. Now listen here. <laughs> we got two energies of won't let shit go. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. This, is, this might as well be the judgment, which is three Scorpionic energies. We got three energies... In reverse, Judication, Death Card, Tower, all Scorpio energy on um, won't let shit go. They won't let this shit go. Three of Swords. Or the person they're dealing with. Hold up. Or married to. Herifying Four Wands won't let it go. what fear of change fear of the unknown afraid of change won't let shit be purified or brought down inability to change to grow to transform okay stay a caterpillar then <laughs> get that shit over there what's this lovers okay because some of y'all is a scorpio they're dealing with well somebody got a scorpio placement the lovers. Well, it's just about change. Damn, I'm tapped in. They literally can make a decision on who to choose. Two of swords and the lovers. Mm -hmm, please. Mm -hmm. Seven of cups. Nine of pentacles. Who to offer to? What, what's the seven of cups? Six of wands in reverse. Failure to launch. Woo! That's failure. Six of wands in reverse is a failure. Nope. Consistency, couldn't do it. Mind games, they did that. Confusion, yeah. Y'all was getting ready to get these going. They only gave you the little small shit. Page of Pentacles, ooh, let's do this, let's do that. I'm going to be consistent. Never mind, no, I ain't five of swords. Mind games, stop playing. No, they're not playing. They're not playing. They serious about fucking this up because they did that. What's this? <laughs> What's this five of cups? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Unhealed. That for some of y'all, they're regretful. They're going to come fighting for this last stand. They want to take one more. Terrifying. Uh, again? Huh. That's twice. Taurus energy. I'm a Taurus too, so I should know, but I know. I just want, I just want to see. Like, what's up? What's up, Spirit? What's up with this Terrifying? Again. Tradition, institution, education, social structures, a hierarchical organization. The Herophon is a wise and respected teacher, connects with heaven and earth, understands that there's a complex game of life. Everything has a role from the tiniest bee to the greater emperor himself. We all have our parts to play. Given this knowledge, it is natural for him to appreciate and uphold the social structures that keep everything in harmony and order. For some of y'all, they stand married due to socially accepted relationship status. What can you learn from tradition? The uncertainties could, what uncertainties can you eliminate from your life by following a conventional path? This card also represents, okay, for some of you, they stick it to what they know. This marriage. <laughs> this motherfucker. What's this nine of wands, five of cups? Thank you. I'm going to fetch these. Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Moon. 
So you that wish fulfillment, food court, they want to take a leap of faith and leave something behind because they bored and discontent where they at anyway. They want to come charging in, but this queen of swords is on their ass with the ace of swords too. Yep, they want to break through, but they stay where they at, four of wands. Anyways, nine of wands, five of cups, nine of cups, ooh, nine, 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 fulfillment, I feel. Why well, I see this other nine, the, the, the um, hermit. Anyways, um, something needs to be completed. But they right there on the brink of almost, no, we're not quite at 10 yet. They've been very, I feel egotistical with this Knight of Wands. I don't care what nobody say. It's fire energy. So it could be a lot about passion, impulsive behavior, taking action, bold and erratic. Instead of coming at you solid, they come at you broken, damaged, Knight of Wands. They are definitely uncertain, fearful of change. Death in reverse, tower in reverse judication in reverse they won't get divorced they're uncertain they're fearful they're doubtful paranoia nine of swords i saw that was another one yeah um this motherfucker is feeling very regretful and remorseful but you're disappointed they're disappointed this just this, this shit is just toxic more than anything though i feel like they want to come fight for this though but where is it going are you divorced yet why fight for something if you're not gonna make it solid what's this what's the, What's the outcome of this right here, spirit? They fighting or they giving up? The Virgo. Five of Cups again and the devil. This shit is only going to lead to disappointments. Toxicity, Capricorn energy. They are bound to a karmic partner. They feeling remorseful about this shit, but we got two five of cups with the devil toxicity they continue to fight for something that they're bound and stuck in needing virgo energy this could be you to find self-sufficiency self-care self-love realizing their worth stop being codependent codependent and letting go of the past baby mama wife baby daddy husband or whoever this shit ain't gonna lead to nothing but disappointments this shit is very enlightening for whoever watching this, I hope you find clarity that this shit is just holding you back. Until next time, peace.